morning everyone, welcome to How To With Will. Today we're just going to talk about how to deal with the Mason Greenwood situation. It's um, obviously been in the news today, yesterday. Shocking, shocking news for everyone. And as a Man United fan, uh, my son's a Man United fan, how to actually react to it, how to deal with it, how to deal with that kind of news when it's one of your idols, one of your heroes, one of your kids' heroes something like that comes out. Now, I'm certainly not here to judge or say what I think happened because we don't know yet. So there's certainly an element of waiting for the truth to come out or the facts to be confirmed. Um, I'm certainly not in any rush to talk about the allegations as to whether there's any truth in them or anything like that because at the end of the day, this is a very, very, very serious situation which has caused massive, massive repercussions. I think it will do for a long, long time. And how to deal with a situation like this? Well, at the end of the day, he's a hero. He's one of our heroes. He's someone that I thought I'd be cheering on for the next 15 years. Because there's no doubting that the kid has got more talent in his little finger than I've got in, well, everything. And, you know, I've loved watching him and I've loved cheering for him. And when you find out something like this, when the private life and the professional life clash and you find yourself questioning yourself and almost feeling guilty for supporting someone who is capable of this kind of thing. And I'm not being the judge, jury and executioner because you have to wait for the process to, to complete and it takes a long time. So you have to be patient to find out exactly what happened but how do you deal with it in the meantime you know when that initial news comes out and you accept that maybe you're not going to see him play for Man United anymore he might never see him play football again you know he might be back you know he might be back playing before you know it and you know how can you how can you do that how can you see someone like that come back onto the pitch and how can you how can you support them again when something like this has been put out there and see if there's a conviction or if there's um, evidence and the truth comes out and he is guilty then you know it doesn't matter whether he's one of the best talents in the world there's a victim who has had a horrible situation and you look at someone like Mason Greenwood and you ask yourself was he born like this was he did he have the capacity to do these things is this the knock-on effect to a very young man being very famous and very rich very early and maybe losing a little bit of sight of reality and who he is and it's a very 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 sad time and like I say my son is, is eight years old and he worships Mason and he thinks he's the the best thing since sliced bread and we both do. Like we've gone to see him live and we watch him every week on TV and what do I say to him? How do I explain the situation when he asks, why isn't Mason playing? Or he asks, what is this in the news? What do these words mean? When they're talking about abuse and rape and words like that, that a boy of eight years old doesn't understand. And it's a very, very, very hard situation. All I know is, is that you have to wait for the truth to come out. You can't can't make yourself deal with this like there is no way it takes a pro it takes a long time so you have to wait for information to come out you have to let it all sink in but at the moment it's a weird situation I almost feel sad and deflated like it's happening it's something in my life but obviously I love Man United that much that when something like this happens it's, it's such a horrible thing for someone that you you put so much faith in and I think that's what hurts so much is that we all put faith in these these people and when something like this happens it leaves such a sour taste in everyone's mouth um, because you just hope these things would never happen and I hope whatever happens that the right thing happens so I hope the victim gets the justice that they require if Mason needs re-educating and and help you know wherever that comes through prison time and rehabilitation and courses to deal with his behavior then that's something that I hope happens for him because you know he can't live his life thinking what is that is the the allegations if they are true he can't live his life thinking that that's something that he can do um, and I'm sure right now he regrets it very very much 
But like I say, we're talking about the ifs, buts and maybes. There is no no uh, confirmation about anything as yet. But just wanted to put this video out there for all the Man United fans, all the Mason Greenwood fans, all of the all of the people involved in situations like this, anybody who has any feelings on the subject. It's very hard to know how to feel. I don't think there's a right and a wrong. There's just a, a shock and a, and the difficulty of being patient. I think the one that I find hard is the you know the guilt that I find having supported someone like Mason. And you just sort of go, oh. you know, I feel a bit funny in myself even for for that. And it's it's very, oh, such a difficult situation. And you know, I, if anybody out there is struggling, I'd love to hear your your comments about it. And if you want to share this video with other people so we can get the conversation going, then that'll be absolutely brilliant. But just not the best video to put out on a Monday morning, but it's been a tough 24 hours or so, isn't it, for Man United fans and sports fans and just fans of life in general because this isn't what anybody ever wants to hear. So please like and subscribe. Please comment on this video if you want to have uh, your say and put your thoughts across to me. And um, we'll catch up again soon, hopefully for something a little bit more positive. But have a good day, everybody. See you soon. How to with Will. Hopefully a better subject next time. See you soon.